Okay, so I do a lot of streaming, and the Stream Deck from the Elgato is one of my favorite pieces of equipment. I've been using it for quite a while. So I want to kind of give you a look of what you can expect here on the software, just so you could have an idea how that goes. Now, keep in mind that they do have a 32, which is the one that I use, but they also have a 15. I believe they have a 6, and they have a bunch of different ones. I went for the biggest one, 32 keys, because I really wanted to have as many keys as I can. By the way, make sure you subscribe. Let me know what you think down in the comment section below but talking about keys as you can see right here essentially i have it's a bunch of keys that i'm not even using in this particular profile so i'm just going to give you a quick look here just so you can see this is the profile that i actually use for me to essentially record videos now i do a lot of live streaming in amazon live as well but like i said this is the profile that i use to record so i'm just going to give you a quick look just so you can have an idea if you look up here stream that xl right that's the one that i have obviously you could have different devices in here but default profile it's going to be the profile that i have you could set up different profiles you have different streams and things like that i'm pretty much set up with that but what i like about this profile is you see this button right here essentially i can go up so let me go up all the way as you can see right here this is some of the stuff that i got here open and even though you see some buttons that are not really set up i actually like that a lot because once again if you press a button like this one right here i'm pressing this but if i press right here by mistake or something like that it kind of allows me to mitigate some of the mistakes and things like that but again this is like my main setup right here for now and if i press this one right here i'm gonna press it right now it's gonna go into this setup right here and this is essentially my live streaming setup so i have different scenes that i have created like i could play some music i could turn the music off i could put a thanks for watching display i could put a beat right back i could put you know share my screen i could do all that kind of stuff i could even share my cell phone as well i could put things such as lower thirds all that is set up there and i definitely understand that that could be a little bit personal because it's going to be up to you how you're going to set it up but if i come up here and then i go to this one right here essentially actually i'm going to go to this one right here which is final cut pro you can have different setups here as well that is going to allow you to edit video so as you can see I could cut, I could undo, I could play. So again, you could use this as an editing software as well. It's going to be up to you how you're going to set it up. We're going to go back and we're going to press this one right here. And we're going to go to this one. And essentially, this is my recording setup right here. So essentially, I could click here, finish right there. And it's going to stop my recording. I could press it again. It's going to record again i could even play a video so if i press that button right there it's going to play a video and if you have an intro outro maybe a video that you want to play you can set it up any kind of way that you want right i have actually set it up here where it's me and my cell phone again lower thirds you could do all kind of different things and it's all good right it's really really easy to set up i'm actually going to show you how to set it up as well but before i do that i'm going to show you this site right here you do have different choices and it's going to be up to you how you want to do this but again you know you have a sandbar you have string deck if you utilize stream deck you're going to have different actions in here that you're going to do you do have stream lab as well you can see it right here desktop again if you use that it's something that you could utilize there as well twitter you got a bunch of stuff i use ecamm and i actually download the plugin for ecamm so essentially this is what i do is pretty simple what i do is that i click here where it says run a scene and i put in whatever button i want right and it's going to get a little funky but i want you guys to kind of follow with that so once i press here so you can see right here in the bottom it's going to say run scene you could change this to whatever maybe you want to put main camera or something like that you could come up here and you could kind of switch this icon right there you could actually create custom icons that you could put right there and then you're going to click the scene that you already have set up again the scene is going to be set up in ecamm so you set up the scene in ecamm and it's going to appear here so right so it's going to be let's say your main camera right there so if i press that button it's going to take me to my main camera check it out i'm here right now i'm going to go back to my scene where i have my screen share and then if i come back here now I have a scene that is like that so again you don't have to do anything that is going to delay your string or anything like that you could be talking to a person you could be like hey i really appreciate you guys watching and thank you so much and then next thing you know you're here and again it transitions really really well obviously if you want to delete that just click on there and again click on that right there the trash can and delete right they do have a lot of things here on ecamm that you could set up for example switch profile solo gas next pdf Hey, add a guest to the right, add a guest to the left, add last comment right here. So again, you do have a lot of stuff. Again, I use Ecamm. There's other plugins out there. It depends 
what you want to use. All right, if I press up here to this icon, it's going to give me kind of like a store right here and you can see it right here. So again, to the left, you're going to have plugins and again, depends what you're looking for. For example, Twitch Studio, OBS. OBS is one that a lot of people utilize as well utilities so it kind of gave you some utilities of your computers and things like that look this score which is something that a lot of people use as well you do have some icons as well that you can install you can see that you have some music and again some of this music could be set up in your icons as well so once you press a button it's going to show sound effects as well and again you do have a lot of different choices to download doesn't really cost any money as far as i know this one does not but again if you come up here you can see some of the profile pages some of the new equipment that is coming out introducing the stream deck right there introducing the face cam pro what is new with stream deck you know we got the stream deck pedal as well which is actually quite cool and again tons of information right there so listen if you want to step up your live streaming setup i'm telling you the stream deck is awesome i've been using it for quite a while i've been using it for a long time actually and i love it money well spent let me know what you think we'll see you in the next one